I have never watched anime or read manga in my life. I'm in a museum dedicated to anime and manga. How did I get here? So we are now in the Osama Tezuku Manga Museum, which is currently having a Capcom exhibition. But this museum is basically dedicated, of course, to Osama Tezuku, who is the godfather of manga. And basically, it's a museum all about, you guessed it, manga. So we're going to take a look around at that as well as see this Capcom exhibition because I love Street Fighter, but here's the thing. I have never watched much anime. I'm not a big fan of manga. And yet here I am at a manga museum. This is going to be interesting. First thing you're going to see when you come in is the permanent exhibition just after the entrance which is basically dedicated to the man himself and also about his life, his career, the mangas that he's created, everything about his life. This is what you see when you first come in. So unfortunately we came all the way to the Street Fighter exhibition and I can't take any videos inside the Street Fighter exhibition but I can take photos so I will do that so here's a series of photos of the exhibition I don't know what they're doing Street Fighter exhibition, you come into this area where they've got a little bit of a library on this side, there's a shop at the back, there's some screens here where kids can play and create some cartoons, some anime or even watch something and there's some creation corner over there with more figures over on the other side and a play corner. This is basically more for children and stuff to just have a read, to play a bit but also for adults you've got that shop and that gift shop, we're going to take a look at it now.
Can you see the lion? Oh, it's one of these. So you put your hand in. It's not there. <gasps> oh. It looks so real. <laughs> no touch. So this sort of steampunky area is essentially where a lot of the more interactive stuff is. There's some screens and stuff behind where you can watch and make your own drawings. Over here is a bunch of gears and knobs. In there is a little bit of an optical illusion where you put your hand in and you expect a lion, but you can't touch that lion. It's an optical illusion. Back over there was some figures of um, Blackjack and Astro Boy. So we're going to check out this whole area now and you're going to come along with me because as usual, what else are you here for? So yes, that has been the Osamu Tezuka Manga Museum and even though I didn't understand much of it, I truly appreciated what the man has done for manga, why he is the godfather of manga and this is definitely a place that you should visit when you are in the area. It is located in the Takarazuka area and it is something that is definitely worth your time. It's 700 yen for adults, 300 yen for students and 100 yen for children. I'm reading that off this brochure so I don't get the information wrong but it is definitely worth your time. It's informative, it's interactive, it's exciting for both adults and children alike and something that I think a lot of people will appreciate whether or not you have read manga or are even into manga. I enjoyed it and I've never read manga so I'm guaranteed you will enjoy this as well. So yes, make sure you come to this place and thank you once again for watching. Um, as usual, I don't know how to end this so bye, 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 bye.